Previously in All-Star Championship Wrestling, in the first round of the TV title tournament, Dino Bambino was able to avoid the interference from Sam Hain and advance with a victory over Sergeant Medallion. Kujo and Angelo Stefano sunk to Lou Lowe's in victory over Eric Freedom and the lovely Kendra in mixed tag action. And Adrian Lynch interrupts Rob Norwood's 15 minutes and issues a challenge for the belt tonight. Rob Norwood, after that vicious attack, are you going to be able to defend the belt tonight? No, you damn right I I'm can't. I'm sorry, Rob. I can't let you wrestle tonight. Oh, I'm you, sorry. You oh, can't. Oh, you think so? No, 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 you can't. There's nobody. You not even a fat... No, tail. get away from me. Not even a fat pig like Adrian Lynch is holding a pimp daddy down, baby. You better believe it. You can't wrestle tonight, Rob. Uh, I'm sorry. All the times you picked Lynch to do this. Uh, ACW first TV taping. Uh, and you want to look like Mr. Big Shot. I don't think so. Not at my expense, baby. Uh, Keep it on. Goodness gracious, Derek St. Holmes Esquire. We've known he's coming to gold here at ACW. And now the chance to advance the ACW TV title tournament. Matt Byron and Angelo Stefano all the way live here on UPN 32 as the precocious Hampton Knight, Derek St. Holmes Esquire. Derek St. Holmes. This one off for us, Derek, Derek St. Holmes, probably the most intelligent wrestler in ACW today. That book of knowledge he has used on several occasions just for reading, not for anything else, to help him achieve victory here at ACW. Yeah, a little bit of white. I think not, and that's a 15-pound book of God knows what kind of wisdom. Well, well, you know, everyone has different reading material for when they go to bed at night. Derek St. Holmes has a book of knowledge in it. Well, I have my magazines. You're not talking about Spider-Man comics, unfortunately. Once and in a Derek while. Derek St. Holmes, uh, liked by his cricket buddies, apparently. Well, you know, a very sophisticated man, Derek St. Holmes. He's into very sophisticated things like cricket and... Uh, books and water polo and stuff like that. You would have been ahead of the Olympics. Water polo? You can't get horses in a pool. God, are you silly. Silly me indeed. And if there could be any more of an ideological difference here in ACW, Angelo. That's right. Rough Rider Rashad, a graduate of the ACW Dojo, actually looked fairly impressive so far in his matches here. The socialite, the precious one, Derek St. Holmes Esquire, this man from Gary, Indiana, from the streets. He's ghetto born, he's ghetto bred, and he's looking to put a whooping on Derek St. Holmes Esquire. We're talking about Rough Rider Rashawn. This is a vicious, this is a talented kid who has an extraordinarily bright future ahead of him, Angelo. Oh, I'd be very surprised if he actually did put a whooping on Derek St. Holmes. Derek St. Holmes is too much of a veteran, too well prepared for this match. I think he'll disassemble the rookie mighty quickly here. It's not just a clash of uh, social styles, it's a clash of wrestling styles here. We've got Derek St. Holmes Esquire, who is so worldly and scientific knowledge, taking on a ghetto fighter, a high flyer, just a vicious crawler. This kid can do a lot of different styles. We're talking about Rough Rider Rashad and Mickey Doyle, a brand new referee here at All-Star Championship Mickey Wrestling. Doyle. That's him, all right. And Mickey Doyle better, better call this one right down the middle because, uh, you know, I wouldn't doubt it if he gave Rough Rider Rashad an unfair advantage just because he's jealous of how smart Derek St. Holmes is. Sporting some uh, impressive guns in the middle of the ring right now. And look at the back of Derek St. Holmes' tights. They read E equals Mick squared. That doesn't mean McDonald's. Sorry to that means he goes to McDonald's twice a day. See how smart I am? Thank you for... Uh, Supporting the local fast food community. They lock up right here in the middle of the ring. Derek St. Holmes Esquire going to use that scientific knowledge to befuddle Rough Rider Rashad, I think. Grinding those forearms into the ears of Rough Rider Rashad, I don't think that's a pleasant experience. Up and over. Derek St. Holmes Esquire gets a hip toss for his troubles. Rough Rider Rashad, I'll tell you what, the kid does not look pretty. He doesn't have the classic, you know, bodybuilder's build, but this kid is perfectly built for wrestling, low center of gravity. And Derek's going to recompose himself here and, uh, 
take a little time, talk with his buddies, and come up with something to uh, offshoot the, the fast momentum of Russ Ryder and Sean. Manchester, as it were. I'll tell you what, this kid has so much knowledge. This, this young man, I should say, he's not a kid. He's a very schooled veteran already in professional wrestling. He's wrestled in Europe, he's wrestled in Japan, he's wrestled with Otto Bonds, he's wrestled with the shooter, Billy Robinson. So much of a ground attack, so much of a scientific attack, so much of an anomaly here in the world of professional wrestling and that he's such a scientific specialist in the world of brawlers and high flyers, Angelo. And have you ever seen Derek St. Holmes' house in the Hamptons? Oh, it's beautiful to even have a microwave. I hear he had Gore Vidal and some other socialites over. I don't think he's a neighbor of Puff Daddy. Rough Rider Rashawn going to make uh, Derek St. Holmes puffy there, planning that big roundhouse kick to the midsection in the chest. And now I'm surprised to see this Rough Rider Rashawn working on the armbar. Already bearing his attack. Look at this. Rough Takes Rider. him over. Beautifully done. Shoot fighting mode here. Got that armbar locked in. Rough Rider Rashawn really uh, showing a whole new repertoire here in ACW. And uh, trying to go hold for hold with Derek St. Holmes. I don't know if that's the best strategy. I don't know if I advise that, but I give this kid credit for trying. Every time we see him in the ring, he's got more potential. We see something new. We see something we don't expect. We see more variants of the offense here. And right now, we see him trying to pump up the Fighting Phoenix here at the Phoenix Sports Center. And if you're not careful with Derek St. Holmes, he can stretch you more than the rules on Roseanne Barr. Ah! I would have picked Rosie O'Donnell there. Oh, Rosie O'Donnell's hot. Ew. Once Rock again, Rashawn continues to get the advantage here. That's right, once again, going back to the arm. I really don't know if this is the best strategy for Rashawn. I think he should uh, try to uh, figure something else out. But he's holding well, right on to now, the arm. you know, he's suffering at the hands of Rough Rider Rashawn as Derek St. Holmes. Well, you're going to make Derek St. Holmes. He's holding that arm bar. You're going to make Derek St. Holmes mad if you start using submission holds against him because he really feels that no one in the business knows submis submission holds better than he does. I think he'll take this as a challenge and try and uh, humiliate this young man, Rough Rider Rashawn. I think he will too. And if he gets the chance, you know he's going to stretch him. Up and over he goes, oh, Sabat kick. Nicely done, there's some of that Japanese knowledge, shoot fighting knowledge coming into play there. And As Derek St. Holmes, once he gets the offense, it's terrible trouble to divert him. And Derek St. Holmes showing the crowd how smart he is there. And right now, this is the scientific knowledge. This is the work on the joints, on the pins, on the supports. And, and he's, he's going to work on the legs of uh, Rough Rider Rashad, and we know the uh, primary form of offense for Rough Rider is that big moonsault. That's right, if you take his legs away, maybe he can't climb to the top rope and set up for that moonsault. Brilliant, brilliant oh, strategy. Look at him plant that knee with all his weight. That's right. Onto the canvas. And Rashad's going to have knee problems after this match. Right now he's holding that knee in a lot, a lot of pain, Byron. He's a young man, a graduate of the Dojo of Pain from Gary, Indiana. I'll tell you what. To be saddled with, with a knee injury, a leg injury of some sort, would not do his career much good. Count of one, count of two by Mickey Doyle. Well, that's the chance you, that's a risky run when you step in the ring with someone like Derek St. Holmes. He can blow your knee out, he can take apart your shoulder, he can do it all. The man takes great pride in submission wrestling, in working on the joints, unusual submission maneuvers. He likes that behind the neck single leg grab, he likes the elevated backbreaker. And of course, that uh, finishing Cambridge grab, kind of a variation of the STF as we're seeing right oh. now. Wow, he is stretching. In the middle of the ring, he's got Rough Rider Rashawn. He is stretching he's this He's got nowhere kid. to go. No, he doesn't. He has him positioned perfectly. But Derek St. Holmes already releases it. Well, I think he wants to add a little bit more punishment. It's kind of like a cat toying with the mouse. He doesn't want his pleasure in deriving pain to this kid ending just yet. This kid, I'll tell you what, he's showing some guts, getting back off the apron, knowing what Derek St. Holmes can do to him, can do the most like do those arms. Look at that! Look at that! Oh my God! What talent on this kid! Handspring elbow! And Derek, and Derek St. Holmes never saw it coming! Unbelievable How maneuver! How can you not be impressed by this kid? Well, you should know what this kid's capable of. You managed him once, Angelo Stefano. Yeah, but I had to fire him because he just cared about what the fans thought too much, and I don't stand for that. Well, you screwed up because, quite frankly, this kid can take anyone with him straight to the top of professional wrestling. He's laying in those right hands right now. Derek St. Holmes, he was just floored, but funneled by that offensive maneuver. Big shoulder block. 
Well, Derek, a block of, sort of a close line. Go ahead, Angelo. Derek saying Holmes is really here. He's got to get back on track. Power slam. It would really upset me to see Derek St. Holmes be set back in this TV title tournament. What a major upset this would be in All-Star Championship Wrestling. Repercussions across Midwestern wrestling scene. It would be if a big Simone upset. Drop. It would be a big upset and uh-oh. Here it comes. Hey, wants to go up top. It doesn't bode well for Derek St. Holmes if this is hit. Let me tell you that. Just like off the playground in Gary, Indiana. This kid is absolutely, positively fearless, like so many men in oh. no one's home. Nobody home. Eric St. Holmes throws out of the way. Oh, he's going to think he's a little reading. Uh, discussing the fighter, puts his trick, and there's the block. Yeah, well, there's that 15-pound tome. He just did some light reading, Mr. Byron. And it, is that it? Yeah. Power three, and Mickey Doyle That's it. him out. Wow. Interesting count there. As Derek St. Holmes apparently went into panic mode on that one and went straight for the book and got the victory and of course advances in the ACW TV title tournament. Just doing some light reading at the end of that match and uh, Derek St. Holmes coming out on top pretty much like I knew he would. He should try some and ran. We're going to continue more ACW action. We're just getting started on Saturday night right here on UPN 32. You're watching it on TV, now go check it out on the web at acwprowrestling.com. Get everything you need to satisfy your daily craving for ACW. Get the latest news on upcoming events. Learn all about the stars of ACW with profiles, pictures, and columns. And interact with actual wrestlers and other fans on the message board and in the chat room. That's acwprowrestling.com. Log on today and take cover. Next week on ACW TV, after Sam Haynes' interference in his TV title match, Sergeant Medallion demands a rematch. And he gets one in the form of WWF Hall of Famer George the Animal Steel. Sam Hain explains his hatred for Dino Bambino. And the Hammers Brothers put the tag team belts on the line against the former champs, the GQ Centerfolds. What? No, no, that's a Donna Karen. Hey, that's no a way. Pure way. Hey, that's a Donna Karen. Please stop it. That's a Donna Karen. Hey, you that's hey, a Donna Karen. Hey, you gotta get serious tomorrow. We gotta, we got the take title rematch tonight. I don't want to fighting like oh, this. You always right. get like this whenever we go out. We started it. Hey, hey guys, wasn't it cool how Kujo and I won the mixed tag tonight? No. Yes! <laughs> hey, hey, not only, not only did we win the mixed tag, look, I got my honorary degree in fashion. Isn't that oh, awesome? That's obvious. That's obvious. That's obvious. Dude, dude, we got we gotta well, celebrate. Let's get some beers, okay? Okay. Get a I'll, couple drinks. That, yeah, I'll take I'll take a Bud Light, Kujo. A beer? That was great. Beer? Uh, nice. Can I get a pink flamingo? Oh yeah, can I get a Shirley what? Temple on the rocks, please? What? what? How are we supposed to get checks if you're ordering drinks like that? Have beer, a man drinking, huh? No, 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 Professor Roderick J. McFarquhar here with the esteemed Derek St. Holmes Esquire. How do you do, sir? Oh, I do fine. That's you have just won your opening round match in the TV title tournament. Yes, I have. I defeated the, uh, I was able to overcome the challenge of Rough Rider Rashawn, an excellent, excellent individual. He has a good future in this business. Unfortunately, tonight wasn't your night, Rashawn. I myself will advance further in the tournament. I will advance in the bracketing. I will go further and further and further until I reach the finals where I will become the ACW television champion. Thank you, sir. As always, you have enlightened us. Before tonight's episode, ACW heavyweight champion Rob Norwood was in the ring for an interview when interrupted by the legend killer, Adrian Lynch. We take you now back to this altercation, which leads up to our next main event.
they come, Doug. The man who uh. Here they come, Doug, the man who uh, injured the pimp daddy, Rob Nord, the ECW champion, and the woman who made him do it. It's Adrian Lynch and the fetching Alexis. I'll tell you what, Adrian Lynch punked out Rob Norwood last week. Saw Norwood backstage, he is slow, he is beat up. Adrian Lynch came in, he's at the bottom of the ladder because he's a former champion. He's not the current champion, he's not earned this shot. But he punks out Rob Norwood last week here on ACW Wrestling. And now he has a shot at the title. I don't know if it's right. I'll tell you what, Adrian Lynch, and because of the injury suffered at the hands of Adrian Lynch, Rob Norwood, against doctor's advice, is going to defend his title right here at the Phoenix Sports Center, Doug. Against a 250-pound mauler like this with a horrible attitude and uh, reason to do his thing now. What did I do again? Adrian Lynch, former ACW champion. Now I'll tell you what, Adrian Lynch looks like a different man. He's dropped about 60 pounds. He was pushing over three bills not too long ago. And he's trimmed down, he's lean, he's still mean, and he's going for the championship tonight. It is our first televised ACW championship out here on UPN 32. We saw him last week. We'll see how Rob Norris is feeling this week. Well, I already know how he's feeling. I saw him in the back. He's not a healthy man. But I'll tell you what, for what he's lacking in physical conditioning right now, he's going to make up for it hard. This man wanted to be a champion ever since he first got into wrestling. And you see him there, right there. Yeah, you can see the neck brace. He is not at 100% tonight. I don't know if it's a good idea. Especially against this sadio path and his uh, lovely lady. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, the pimp daddy's charging in, throwing those big right hands. We gotta ring the bell, getting into this one. Mickey Doyle, your referee, Matt Kaufman, Doug Byron. Matt Byron, Byron, Doug Kaufman, I'm already excited here. It's on UPN 32, it's a title match, it's all the way live, and the pimp daddy's on the offense, Doug. I gotta tell you something, I don't know if it's Stefano I smell or the fact that it's uh, Mickey Doyle. I didn't like Doyle's act last week in that uh, mixed tag match, and I, I, I'm surprised that ACW Powers have him refereeing in a championship match just the second week here on television. Mickey Doyle, custom imposing figure inside the ring. I don't know if he's trying to intimidate people outside the ring or not. Perhaps the ECW Championship Committee, maybe Gino Lanza needs to take a look at him. But right now, let's spill up to the outside and quite frankly, when you got two men of these caliber fighting tooth and nail with a score to settle on a title on the line, the best thing to do, and Mickey Doyle is doing it, is just to let him go. The company to the ring, the lovely Alexis. Britney Spears gone bad, and you gotta love that. I thought Britney Spears gone bad was redundant. <laughs> Britney, oh. Britney Spears gone worse. <laughs> Good point, well taken. Adrian Lynch throws him in, no! Reversal, steel guardrail, that has no tip whatsoever in the pimp daddy. Look out, coming in like a train, oh God. All of his body weight charging into that guardrail. Both these men feeling the effect of it as Adrian Lynch continues on the outside. Finally, we get this one back into the ring. Adrian Lynch looks terrific. Got to give the devil his due. He has lo lost a lot of weight, Matt. He sure and has. And he's leaner. He's meaner. He's a former champ who wants that belt back that Rob Norwood, the pimp daddy, holds. His endurance has skyrocketed ever since he's been dropping that weight. He's got a brand new attitude, a brand new lady in this corner and perhaps a brand new belt if the Pimp Daddy can't hold him off, but I'll tell you what, the Pimp Daddy's not gonna go down easy. There's a reason he's the ACW champion. Oh, spinning net breaker. And he telegraphed that move. He really did. He is the legend killer, and this is where Rob Norwood is gonna suffer real quick. As a matter of fact, he's getting that neck brace torn right off of him. Rob Norwood, he's got to think about his career at this point. He's got a 250-pound brawler attacking his most vulnerable area, and neck injuries are nothing to fool with, Doug. Former champ, current champ here on ACW Wrestling on UPN 32, and right now the challenger, Adrian Lynch, dominating oh. Rob Norwood. He sent the pimp daddy flying across the ring with one pull of that steel cable. 
We know it is a rope, but trust me, it's nothing but cable. It's nothing but pain when you go into it that hard. And Adrian Lynch, this is his trademark, methodical brawling. And the pit fan, he's giving it right back, though. We've seen some terrific action these first two Saturday nights of ACW wrestling. We sure have. We're in the first round right now of the television tournament. This is the main event. It's a championship bout. As Norwood, the champ, is knocked down to the mat again by Adrian Lynch. And a lot of great action coming at, at us next week right here on UPN 32, including Mike Medallion takes on Gino Lanza's mystery opponent at a tag team title offense by the Hammers Brothers. As right now, Adrian Lynch all his weight on top of the neck and the throat of the pimp daddy, Mickey Doyle. Mickey Doyle's not too uh, assertive in there, is he? Whoa, look out, Alexis is over there. Now she's pucking out, Norwood. Mickey Doyle shakes hands with Adrian oh, Lynch. Oh I I'll told you, you something smelled, and it was just Stefano. There's something rotten in Denmark, even though it's 15 miles away, and there's something rotten inside the Phoenix Sports Center. I don't get Mickey Doyle's attitude. Here's a guy who fought honorably inside a wrestling ring for years and years, over 20 years, and I just have to question what he's doing in there. Pimp Daddy goes up, and he goes over. He lands Saves on that himself. apron. He doesn't go all the way to the floor. Adrian Lynch is trying to collect himself. Look out. Pimp Daddy's got him. He's up. Looking for that reverse body press. He nailed it perfectly. Well done by the Come pimp. on, what, Doyle. What the hell? What the hell Come is he on, doing? Doyle. That was easily a three count. Powerful clothesline by Lynch as Alexis celebrates in the corner. You know, Matt, it isn't right. Something just isn't right when Mickey Doyle gets in the ring as the third man. You know, Gino Lanza, our new commissioner, the man filling my shoes, I might add, it's his job to regulate the referees in this business. Beautiful snap mirror off the top rope by Adrian Lynch. We get a count of one. I'll finish that. Th what the hell was that? That's a quick count. That was a count? I thought he was brushing off the mat. That was a two count? Tim Danny goes in, sunset flip. Trying to pull that big weight down. Oh, big right hand. Rob Norwood with an injured neck going up against a vicious, slimmed down Adrian Lynch, and he's got to almost battle another person. He's got Alexis out there against him. He's got Mickey Doyle, who appears there's something going on with the referee here. And Adrian Lynch really doesn't need help. He's qualified and talented in his own right. And right now, he's got a sleeper thrown on Norwood, and Norwood's arm is dropped down. We'll see if he can uh, come back here and hold on to his title. For all ACW wrestling. Excuse me, Doug, this is a handicap match. A handicapped wrestler taking on not one, not two, but all, it would seem three competitors out inside the ring. Fucking incredible odds. Reversal of the sleeper, though. Pimp Daddy's got to lock this on. This is very smart. Oh! A face full of buckle. Rob Norwood gets it as Adrian Lynch counters the sleeper. And the big boy's going to fly. I don't know if Lynch would have done this 60 some odd pounds ago. I'm not even so sure. He, top. I'm not even so sure he's trained to do it now. Oh, he got caught. He got caught. Pimp Daddy's got him up. Big slam. High impact. The Pimp Daddy, Rob Norwood, the ECW champion. He's got a kick in the overdrive right now. He's got to think of something foolproof. That right hand certainly foolproof. Lands it into the temple. One more. Whips him in, big clothesline. One more time into the rope, big foot up. Right to the jaw of Adrian Lynch. He's reeling, you can see it in his face. He's wobbly right now. Up he goes, oh, oh, that's the move. That's what one of the AC, there's a Lexus. There is a, come on Mickey. And Mickey Doyle's get, he's like a deer caught in headlights. Seriously, you know what I mean. Some headlights. Mickey, if you, if you need a look, I'll take it a bean snapper right after, but this is a one No shampoo! Alexis! No shampoo! No neck breaker! Oh my god, that neck of the pimp daddy. Got his feet up! Two! Oh! Doyle he saw it! Doyle saw it! He 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 one more time, and he's holding the gold. Adrian Lynch, the ground green bay is irate. 
in the immortal words of the late great Gorilla Monsoon, a miscarriage of justice. To say the very least, what the hell is going on in ACW? What the hell is going on with Mickey Doyle? We're still not sure what's going on with Alexis, but we know what's going on with this man. He is once again the ACW World Heavyweight Champion, the legend killer, Adrian Lynch. And there's going to be repercussions of this one all night long, all week long, and on further episodes of ACW right here on UPN 32, Matt Fryer and Doug Kaufman. We'll see you next week right here on Saturday night. Next week on ACW TV, after Sam Haynes' interference in his TV title match, Sergeant Medallion demands a rematch. And he gets one in the form of WWF Hall of Famer George the Animal Steel. Sam Hain explains his hatred for Dino Bambino. And the Hammers brothers put the tag team belts on the line against the former champs, the GQ Centerfolds. What? No, no, that's a Donna Karen. Hey, that's no a way. Way. Wait, that is a Donna Karen. That's a Donna Karen. I'm telling you, that's hey, a Donna Karen. You gotta get serious tomorrow. We got, we got the tag title rematch tonight. I don't want to fight like oh, this. You always get like this whenever we go out. Start.